In this video, we're going to be learning how to make the fin for our rocket. You can see how the fin's going to look here. I'm going to orbit around so you can see how it's going to look. It's pretty thin, nice design shape for a fin. Let's go ahead and create a new part. The first thing we're going to do in our part is actually change the options, document properties, units, and again, we're going to be changing over to inches. Let's make that four decimal places on the inches. Next, you also want to save your part. And since I already have some, a couple parts labeled fin, and yours should be labeled fin, I'm going to put three because I've already got two other fins I've kind of been experimenting with. For yours, just label it fin. Now ready to draw. Let's begin a sketch. We'll do that on the front plane. And we'll begin with regular line. Start at the origin. Um, notice this is coincident with the origin. Go vertical. Notice right at the mouse behind it, like at the erasure of the pencil, it has a vertical line in yellow. Be sure it does say that. And also look for the length of the line. It says, for example, right now, 2.4517, comma 90 degrees, letting you know that 90 degrees, it'll be straight up. Then we'll go over in this direction, and notice as I move my mouse, I can hit it exactly where it says 45 degrees. That'd be a good idea too. A shorter line, a longer line here, that will not be at 45 and then connect back. Now let's do some dimensioning. For our first line, let's dimension this at 2.25. For our shorter line, be careful. You don't want to go straight out to the right because that measures the vertical height or straight to the top because that measures the horizontal run. So what you want to do is go in this direction and measure the length of the line. The length of this line is 1.125. This line here is 3. And the last line is, if I can get exactly right, there we go, 2.125. Now, we've got every, every line dimensioned except we're still not fully defined. As you can see here, this blue is saying underdefined. What we need to do now is, since this is a closed polygon shape, we need to be sure we, di we dimension one of the angles. We're going to dimension this angle that should be at 45 degrees. I'll choose this line, then I'll move over and also choose this line, and you can see I'm measuring the angle. Here's the interior angle, here's the exterior angle. I'm going to go ahead and just do the interior one. That's the one that should be at 45 degrees, and 45 is correct. Okay, now you can see that our model here is fully defined. We've got the fin uh, sketch complete. Let's exit the sketch, go to features, extrude. Okay, now we need extrude. Now you can see what we've got here. These little very faint blue points are representing where the plane is, and currently we're extruding toward the left. You could change direction and extrude it toward the right, but what we're going to do is actually change the direction to mid-plane and let the plane, as you can see in light blue, be in the middle, and the extrusion go to the left and to the right. The distance for this extrusion will be 0 .03. 0 .03 be a pretty thin little fin. Thin little fin, that sounds wonderful. All right, let's hit check. Fin looks good. Next, let's change the color of it. We've got our completed part, this extrusion. I'm going to hit appearance. Let that come on up. Change it to shiny. And I'm going to do a shiny red. This particular one here. Check, and that's done. Got our shiny red fin. Save. And we're done. On to the next part. 